If you want it, you got to go get it. And what does that mean? It means that you trying to convince me or anybody else that you want to get it when you partying all week, as soon as you get any kind of money, you buying a bunch of shit that you really can't afford. See, everything about what you're doing and the moves that you're making is getting in the way of the big picture. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. Do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. I hope this video makes you uncomfortable because I look at this I look at this as a mirror you get to look yourself in the mirror and ask hard and tough questions what am I doing every single day with my life creating obstacles challenges and distractions for myself creating distraction for myself because of all of this pressure that I live under trying to make all of these people think that I'm doing it big. It's ridiculous, man. God didn't bring you in this world to be average. God didn't bring you in this world to wake up and die one day and just be another person that lived and died and didn't do anything significant in this world. You're still alive. So therefore, God is not done with you. You're still here. God has a plan for your life. God has things in mind for you beyond anything you could ever imagine. Let me say something. You're so consumed with everything that's going on in the world. This is the reason you haven't figured out your own life yet. You can never shine trying to sit on someone else's sun. You can never figure out who you are if you're consumed in everything that everybody else is and what they're doing and the moves that they're making. Who they're having sex with, who they're pregnant by, who they're dating, who they went to a club with, who bought the most bottles, jewelry, clothes, materialistic things, red bottoms. There is a saying that you have to fake it until you make it. But y'all, some, most of y'all have been faking it for so long, you're never going to make it. Most of y'all have been faking it so long, you now believe your own tricks. Most of y'all have been living a lie for so long that you believe your own lies. Because you're trying to chase someone else's life. You're trying to chase someone else's lifestyle and identity. All while ignoring your own life and your own path. God will never give you something somebody else is supposed to have. God will never give you something somebody else is supposed to have. 